Hello and welcome into the NeuroCloud Idle Event Story, which is kind of part of the small major events happening beforehand, which I totally paid not attention to. Well, I do know that this in this events it's a rare opportunity to see Lukai, Lukai, uh, HK416 is her girl's frontline name. I do hope like this. And yeah, we will we will be like figuring out what it is all about. And I think let's start with the first mission. First wish. The peaceful music is disturbed and elements of anxiety leap into the melody. At the oasis inside the practice room. For you is rehearsing for the upcoming concert in the oasis at the melody winds down. The quarter strikes a stylish victory pause. Andine step toward a little when the chorus starts and then give everyone your cutest smile. Uh, my cutest smile? Oh, this is completely different from a matching band. It feels a little embarrassing. Okay, so I can summarize here that Nanaka trains the idol group to do stuff and we are like for you team with Andine on board. That's right, right? Since you are in a shiny new projection, would not it be a terrible waste if you didn't show the audience your beauty? Also, Miss Centaurus here, it would be better if you slow down a little while repositioning on stage. I just realized that myself. My apologies for inconveniencing everyone with my slip ups. And basically this whole event is probably just to promote their skins. That's what they do. But to be fair, the skins still look good. No need to apologize. Also, Kluke, when you are waving, try raising your right hand a little more. Uh, just like that. Now you have got that kitty cat more that's super cute. Being idle is kinda hard. Uh, understood. I will remark that for next time. That's like their skins. This one looks very hot. And we make your movements more vigorous. Since you are an idol, you ought to be full of energy. Uh, no problem, I will fix it. And this is our Wii, which uh, I think that was the last event. What we got, like a battle pass event stuff. I don't know, really keep up with that. Oh, I thought I learned a lot by the time I debuted. I didn't think I would learn even more after that. Well, our leader and manager is trying to turn us to the perfect idols. So, there's a law we have to learn. Perfect idols? That kind of thinking is outdated. A uh, meteor reply comes from outside the practice room. A big fluffy tail swishes at the doorway, followed by a massive backpack and a pair of unturned gold fox ears. Yes, ah, that's Rico. Rico rubs her nose and then turns around with a smug smile on her face. Danger, danger! A new change has appeared. Yet, for you, is still stagnating in the past. Eiko marches into the practice room, still complaining out loud, but she gets stuck in the doorway because of her large backpack, and her legs end up failing helplessly through the air. She tries to touch the ground. Danger? A new challenger? Uh, who is lifting me up now? Put me down first and then I will tell you. Rico, just take your back back off. Uh, what a mistake. I was thinking about making a quick buck. Um, 
Rika walks free of her backpacks, traps, and affects an air of erudition as she studies for you. Mm, did you know that there is another musical legend for Ross to fame overnight in the others besides for you? They have distanced themselves from sleazy stage shows and banal music styles. They are the oasis, tranquil and elegant goddess of music, the ray of light that illuminates tens of thousands of agents. They are the Wish Orchestra. The what orchestra? Aren't they a bunch of musical clowns that were thrown together at the last minute? My, you are quite aggressive, Kluke. We don't undercut the opposition here. We need to promote a positive showbiz environment in the Oasis, you know? Foolish and ignorant. Wish is anything but a last minute. Allow the great Rika to enlighten your clueless idols about Wish, the most popular band at the moment. Oh. Wait. Oh, that, that's the bunch of skins that we got from earlier. This is Eos. First up, the legendary leader, the omnicompetent Miss Eos, who combined modern aesthetics and Greek classicism into one person. As the group leader, she possesses a commanding presence and is remarkably accessible to others. She favors the harp. Yeah, <laughs> Greek classism. Uh, that's uh, actually very on point. Strings come to life in her hand. Strings come to life in her hand, and her music ignites a limitless anticipation in our hearts for Marcus's future. Miss Eos is a muse made flesh. No, behold, autograph of pictures of Miss Eos. No, going to for the low. Price of 10,000 digit coins. She literally just wants us to self merge. Oh, you could buy 10 Oasis special bonds for that. With that, 10,000 digit coins? My dear, that is the fans' love for Miss Eos. True fans are not worried about the price of merge being too high. They are worried that it's not high enough because that means men can vary their. Sincere praise for her. Next up, the legendary goddess of the sex, Atsuchiri. She is loved by the fans for her soulful saxophone playing and her subdue yet warm personality. I, 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 feel, I find she looks kind of cute here. Who can resist Miss Hatsuchiris in an outfit like this? Introducing a collection of photos of Hatsuchiris in her daily life. They are flying off the sleeves at the low, low price for 9,999 digit coins. Pre-order now and receive a free bodysuit in the same style as Tsuya's. Supplies are limited and they are first come, first serve. Oh, that sounds like a much better deal than the autograph picture. Oh no, Centaur is falling into the Rico's sales pitch. <laughs> this is no mess sales pitch. As the artist's number one merchant, Rico would never push flashy and impractical crap on you. Speaking of value of money, nothing beats this one. Oh my god. Wait, is this? Oh, yeah, checks out with the with the like. He's a legendary example of Eastern culture and classical music. That gentle and demure pipa player, Miss Sochun. She perfectly uses classical Chinese musical instrument with accidental music, like the exquisite embroidery on a core drop. Beautiful yet blending in seamlessly with her environment. She fills her surrounding with the divine melodies of the earth. Now you can require 
the same black silk stockings as Mix Sochun's for a mere 3045 digit coins. I bet there will be a lot of people who will buy it. They are handmade by the Aussie's famous needlesmith, Lady Chanzi. Only 500 pairs available. Get them before they are gone. I don't think there's like that many in the Aussie's dolls. Unless you put it for someone else. Rico, have you been bullying Chansey again? <laughs> Perish the thoughts. I am an ethical and honest merchant. We discuss the price beforehand. And finally, the last special member, also known as Michelangelo Davids of Magrassi, the legendary man of fathomless dips, the piano genius who is essential in every low key luxury home, Mr. Jean. Mr. Jean specially made wine marinated grilled fish in styling like hotcakes. Only 100 each calls a stick. Don't pass at this chance up. Buy up as much as you can. It's only selling for a tenth of the bond price. I can pretty much imagine the tenth now. What the heck are you all saying? Even the, uh, uh, I mean, unique tasting cookies made by the only male member of the orchestra would go for 10 times as much as for you merch. No, 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 listen here. If this keeps up at this rate, for you is going to be forgotten by the agents. You know, or they all pursue their favor of the month. Yeah. Have you heard for you latest song? Huh? Who are they? Past their prime idol group? <laughs> they are so lame. Uh, uh. Such is the beauty and cruelty of the world. Uh, you know, hearing all of that is starting to make me mad. <laughs> and then, when you revisit these memories after many years, their tears will brim in your eyes and you will tell the people around you, I was once an idol, and then... The visual cache does show up. Uh, you are the one to talk? Looks like we will have to show them what we are made of, Nanaka. You don't say. Nanaka whips out a pair of sunglasses. The demon manager Nana P is reborn. I wish I knew the event beforehand. What happened before? Nana, the demon manager Nana P, a perfect idol. He has no challenges. That's right. For you are idols who exist of the oasis and all of democracy. As long as the cloud server is around, for you will deliver the best show for everyone. We will never be forgotten. As long as our fans are still around, for you will keep on singing. You say that, but the fans' preferences are. Pickle and trash to, 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 to gasp <laughs> the table. A table has been split in half by a vicious hammer blow from Klukai. The side forces Rico to swallow that she was about to say. For you will top the charts during the next oasis. Music festival. Uh, okay, I I got it. You don't need to go that far to show how serious you are. Any objections? Ah, uh, no. I have always thought well of you for you. <laughs> I guess I will look forward to your performance by then. Uh, bye bye. Rico, tempers off. After a long while, the sounds of her doubling back comes through the doorway. Rigo, who has forgotten her backpack, practically retrieves it and snaps it onto her back before vanishing down the corridor. The practice room is silent. That was strange. 
it felt like a kid coming over to try and get us mad. Rico's actions have never made much sense, but I guess that's just the way she is. Standard trade practice, I suppose. Still, I get the feeling that... They have been careless. Huh? <laughs> we fell for the schemes. She must have stockpiled a bunch of 4U merch which she was planning to sell at a higher price. However, she could not shift her stocks, which is why she came over to provoke us. Ah, that fox is more troublesome than a cross dressing maintenance worker who loves main dolls and skims people. I'm pretty sure this is reference to a Girls Frontline 1, which I did not play. It. Since, since we have given our words, we should try to give up. Let's do our best to make every agent see for you song and dance and feel our idle charm. In other words, this calls for a concert tour. It's time the agents from all the other sectors get to know us. That seems a little bit difficult. The agents in each sector have their own circumstances. But it might be a bit of a stretch to expect the agents from each sector to appreciate art and entertainment. I mean, Vulcan and the others would be fine, but would dolls from other sectors even be interesting in idols? Well, things might not be as bad as you think. Here, have a look. Nanaga holds up her terminal, and an electronic invitation springs up from it. Oh. We cordially invite the members of For You to hold a concert in Cyclopes? Signed, an agent from Cyclopes? Whoever did this didn't leave their real name, and it is an official Cyclopes email. Mm hmm. With the most recent invitation I received. Ah, uh, seems more like a scheme that an invitation to me. Cyclopes is a sector for researching and testing military mat materials, right? I'm fairly sure the environment must be quite similar to a real-world military camps. Yes, that's definitely a sector that we didn't speak a lot, but this is Simo's story quest, you can say. Chapter 2. From my experience, there are means about as far away as you can get from idols. And the concert might end up becoming a brawl instead. What should we do then, Lida? <laughs> if the fans call, we idols must answer. Games or not, we need to go to the Cyclopes and see what's going on. Well done, Kluke, as expected of for you, Lida. Since we have decided, the first stop of for you's concert tour will be Cyclopes. Naraka once again dons her sunglasses and flashes everyone with a confident smile. We will show all those bands who have just set foot into a showbiz that all skills speak of themselves. And this is the first wish chapter. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm missing a lot of references from the other chapters here. Um, I, I will say well, that just let's keep going. After the dust clears, the only distinct thing in the data turbulence is that unyielding form. Part 2. Clash. Outside the Cyclopes sector firewall. Oh, they are back to all their original costumes. Might have an invitation, but we don't have any permission from the administrator. So how exactly are we supposed to get in? Don't worry about that. The com... The professor and I send advance notice of our visit. And this 
and Tartar has the full support of the Oasis. And the professor's always been a rational person. I can't believe they would go this far to Humas. Well, everything for Kluke. Kluke. Well, the professor will always back up from their shadows, no matter what we get up to. I have already sent a request. They should have contacted the Cyclopes administrator ahead of time and gotten entry permission for us. Several hours later, their terminal bips with a message received on. The firewall password appears on the display and Kluke enters each character into the firewall. Their operant fragments on its surface glow in a chaotic patterns before the barrier opens for them. After entering the sector, the group finds themselves amidst a scared landscape. They have no idea how to proceed. If the invitation was genius, then why is nobody here? They didn't even send anyone to guide us in. As I thought, it was Bogus. But then, why would they target for you? Would not going after the professor directly be more productive? Shh, I hear footsteps. Luka quickly moves in front of her teammates and gestures them to take cover. Through a small crack, she spots an agent patrol doing a recon sweep of the area. Illegal firefall, illegal firefall access detected at coordinates. Wait, we did pretty much legally got there, right? Everyone holds their breath and watches as the patrolling agent sweeps their scanner, beams over for use position. Scanning area, terminal reading nominal, no radar contacts. No signs of irregular agents detected. A trespass left the interaction point. This is monitor 104 of patrol squad 104, requesting permission to sweep other suspicion areas. Monitor type agent. Monitor 104. We have not concluded a full sweep of this area yet. Proceeding to another area might know would be a rush. The target is are no longer in the current area. Time is critical, and in order to improve our search efficiency, I recommend we search each possible areas. Order received. The agent called Monitor 104 glances at for use hiding place before leading her team away. After the patrol team vanish into the distance, we slowly get to her feet. The optical camo that Preston develops really something. We would have been spotted by Nob if it wasn't for this. I guess we should be glad that technology like this has not spread to Cyclopus yet. It saved us some unnecessary trouble. No, we are not out of the woods yet. Huh? Found you. We take cover. Huh? We immediately jumps back as she hears a call. Useful voice speaking from beside her. A dazzling ray of light slices through the air and we instantly twist the head aside mid-leap. This action saves her from the operant's laser, but it still signed a few standards of hair on the left side of her head. Luca crashes out and grabs V's form, then tosses her to Centaurus, who is waiting in cover. Monitor 104 freezes up at Klukai sudden appears and 
misses the chance to press attack. After hesitating briefly, she puts down her laser gun and begins calling for help. All trespassing agents detected at Firewall Area D4 coordinates requesting backup. Is this how you welcome guests in Cyclopes Sector? You send an invitation and then set an ambush near the firewall. Um, Monitor 104 did not verify your signatures and cannot confirm that this is indeed legal access. High powered vaporry detected on Transpacific Agent, reaching to a disarmament mod, executing. Elimination order? Uh, that's went definitely wrong here. The sound of a weapon chambering around is exceptionally loud during the standoff, and Monitor 014 aims her weapon at Klukai. Looks like we are past the point of talking. She has a team with her just now, so why is she here alone right now? Are they? Setting up an ambush? Commencing elimination. The word elimination seems to be both a final warning to Klukai and also a declaration of her own resolve. The agent instinctively pulls the Riga and a powerful opponent's laser launches out from her weapon, instantly piercing throughout the Ruined wall behind Klukai. Klukai throws herself to the right. She plants a foot on a nearby wall and launches herself forward and past the agent. This movement is so quick that the agent cannot lock onto Klukai in the time and the only thing her wind barrage hits is after images of her opponent. One of the beams hits an electrical device, which explodes in a burst of electronic disruption. Despite taking cover behind the rubble, Poyu ends up getting caught in it too. Your movements and marksmanship are textbook, but you are nothing but an amateur compared to a proper battle type agent. Rukai flicks her gun safely on, then reverse her weapon and drives the butt into the agent's elbow joint. A wave of numerous threads out of the impact side and her hand immediately goes slack. The operand laser Dropping to the gravel. Ah, warning! Weapon connection anomaly. Look, I points her gun at the agent's head. Who cautious her agents picking her weapon up again and causing unnecessary trouble. However, huh. battle type agent release monitor zero. One four. That's one that I'll do the combat style. The other members of the patrol team have been watching this series of events. A frantic look comes over the agents at their head, and she runs in front of Monitor Zero uh, One Zero Four, spreading her arms out to block Lukai. This movements. I don't recall battle type agents moving like that. Battle type agents base layer logic is to kill their opponents, so protecting their comrades like this is definitely unusual. <laughs> oh, don't say me this is all because of Simon's. Oh man, this hits differently. They did change now. Large number of trespassing agents detected at firewall area D3 coordinates requesting backup. We come from the Oasis. We receive an invitation from your sector to hold a concert here. We have never once 
uh, harbor on malicious intent. Uh, verifying. Verification completed. There are no notice of a legal idol group holding a curtain here in recent sector notifications. The administrator did not issue any request for entertainment activities to other sectors either. And that's impossible. The professor requested and received permission for entry from your administrator. We even received the access code for the Cyclopes sector firewall. Ukai tightened her grip on her gun. The other agents from the patrol squad tense up. At the stand of Rex on, a voice blooms out from the distance. The speaker's flame red hair stands out again the monochrome debris. His towering frame and his weightless shield obscures what little light managed to filter through the ruins. Who the? Who are you? This is Sortia 005369, here to assist. Sorti, they claim to be agents from the Oasis, but we didn't receive any information about their arrival. <laughs> the Oasis again. Ah, the, the use of again sounds very significant. Have you had contact with other agents from the Oasis? Nameless recalls his unhappy encounter with a certain folklorish and loans. Monitor 104. This is probably a misunderstanding. Olivia sent the entry notification and reception introduction to Sortie 104 three days ago. Sortie 104? I'm sure you know what state she is in. Is it no condition to send you anything at the moment? So she could not share the visitor information with you. Fortunately, things didn't escalate too much. Too much? You would come any late? How the sector would be in ruins by now? Nameless. He literally has a nameless name. If you don't mind, why don't I take you to the place run by a friend of mine? It might be more suitable for reminiscing about the past. Oh, so that, that's it with stage, uh, the second chapter, Clash. Part 3, Confusion. You are already swooning after just a little drink. Three sheets to the wind below, even reaching a bus. What it means? Oh, it even in coffee. Happy mood. I, I don't remember this location. What? A pair of hands travels over a set of black and white keys, bringing forth music whenever they go. Then the wind chime at the bar and tickles, and the hands suddenly grind to a halt. The door cracks as it opens, and Nameless steps through. Looking towards the source of the music, at the member of the Wish Orchestra who is tilted in front of the piano, Jean. Wait! Ah, that's what he means by the other others. Is there some kind of music festival going on? <laughs> I was simply keeping in practice. What will you have today, Nameless? Um, I have brought a few dolls who claim to be from the Oasis. They ought to be your friends of yours. Wait, is Jin walking here all the time? Nameless makes way and for you enters. Their faces and hair 
blockade with dust and soot. <laughs> awkward pause. More awkward pause. I didn't expect to run into you here, ladies. My humble establishment is honored to host the super popular idol group for you. <sighs> what are you doing here? This is my part of duties. I eventually stay over in Cyclopes to help the professor search for our scattered friends. Relax. Being overly tense will affect your judgment. Would you like something to calm your nerves? This place is meant to be a safe harbor of sorts after all. There is no place in Cyclopes more secure than that. But it looks like it's about to collapse at any moment. Don't worry, this is part of the course in the Cyclopes sector. This bar will undergo its fifth <laughs> renovation soon. Fifteenth renovation soon. <laughs> well, at least we can rest our feet. A Mojito for myself and Andine. A mind trooper, please. I don't have no idea. <laughs> Of all of those things. A classic choice. And for Miss Klukai, what would you like? It's been a long time since I last served you, after all. Huh? I have something sweet and not alcoholic. Oh, pardon me, but I didn't hear that. I said I was something sweet and not alcoholic. And she turns red. <laughs> then, please allow me to recommend a popular beverage from the 20th century, Black Pig Olderlandia Waters. Its taste might not be the most appealing, but it is refreshing and effective at easing fatigue. <laughs> That's a weird name, as for sure, but fine, I will take it. A Sartia. Did you want to know something about us? The, basically the name of this guy. Yeah, based on what you said, someone sent an invitation to the Oasis in the hopes that Fuyu would put on a concert in Cyclopes, so you came in response. But after checking with the administrator, it turns out that she never issued any invitation to the Oasis and there are no records of any agents here sending any requests to the others. Of course, there is one place in Cyclopes where data is not linked to the admin center. Nameless case turns to Jean. Oh dear, while I am honored to host a popular idol group, I must point out that I am not a fan of for you. You are not a fan? Why? You drink, Miss Klokai. I doubt it was Jean. We could have raised the email easily enough if it had come from this eight stations. The truth is, we could only confirm that the mail came from somewhere in the Cyclopes Center. Huh. Oh. What was the name of the sender? Well, that's probably not that easy, right? They called themselves a Cyclopes agent, and there was nothing else. Speaking of fans, my bar once had customer who said they were fans of yours. Hmm? Huh? I didn't think we have any fans in the place like this. The situation is better than I thought. <laughs> is this really? Just an invitation from an anonymous fan? Ah, Jean. This drink tastes weird. Lukai puts a glass down and pushes it away in disgust. And the date for the concert is... In a week time. Hmm. I will help find the person who sent the invitation. As for the concert... We would like to honor their invitation, even if we don't know who exactly sent it. 
A concert will require much manpower and operands. This is not a wise choice. The professor contacted us and said that the Oasis will provide their full support in the matter. We can also... Since you are holding a concert, I believe you should focus on your stage performance. The agents of the Cyclope sector will help out as well, right? You can submit a request for manpower and resources to Olivia, but I will say this up front. Cyclopes is currently facing a unique situation and we have never prepared for any sort of entertainment event before. There is a high chance the request will be rejected. When the time comes, I would advise you to contact the professor and leave the Cyclopes sector as fast as possible. You have forgotten to add. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. <laughs> we was not impressed by that. Nameless ignores we complaints and opens his terminal to enter the information about Poyu's concert. However, he received a reply within seconds. The word approved suddenly appears on his screen. Okay, the operating... The, okay. So there is something going on. Either we're getting hacked, or someone really wants this cancer to be happen. Someone may be even a secret fan. Uh, looks like your administrator isn't as hidebound as you are. There's only a week until the concert. I can't believe Olivia proved it. So quickly, even throughout our <laughs> time, manpower and resources are so tight. Maybe your administrator has ideas of her own, like our professor. Well, by the way, this design of Klukai looks so good. Klukai picks up a nearby glass and scoops it down. As the cold liquid flows down her throat, their memories glow clear and clear. I did he pick up a wrong Litwick? Professor, for you will be holding a concert tour soon. Our first stop is the Cyclopes sector. Cyclopes? Olivia was telling me that there was something strange about the agent there recently. So please stay safe. If anything comes up, we'll do our best to help you out. Are you not even the last bit surprised that we will be holding a concert tour in the military sector? <laughs> Everyone is born to feel doubt or hesitate before they make up their mind. They need a little push to take that final step. You guys are like that and others might be the same way too. Since for you made that decision, I am sure you will follow through with it to the very end. And besides, I'm sure you must have given it a lot of thoughts, seeing you are the group leader. Also, as your producer, I have faith in the members of my group. Wait, Professor is the producer? How, how much did I miss from this idol event stuff? All I need is to cheer you on from behind. That certainly sounds like what the commander would say. They are the same in the cloud server and in reality. Klukai, you... Uh, huh? Oh no. Uh, this is... A wave of dizziness rushes over her mind and her visual models begin lagging and producing double images. Lukai lowers her head and realizes that the sweet, non-alcoholic drink she thought she just had is over half a meter away from her. Meanwhile, the empty glass she is holding used to contain the mojito that we just set down on the table. The operative world being used to. Well, that cocktail was not too alcoholic, so maybe it won't be too bad. 
Gene. Silent Little Draft with the corners of the bar. <laughs> Alcohol is like the Serpent of Eden for Klukai. Be quietly backs up to the bar's door. Uh, what's wrong? Andina, let's find somewhere to hide. Wait, wait, what's going on? Why all of you look so nervous? Oh no. <laughs> Klukai wobbles up in front of Nameless. You have never organized any kind of entertainment event before. Let me show you what a perfect idol is really made of. What is it, Monitor 104? Ah, I thought I hear a burst of music from over there just now. That's ours as bar, right? The people from there are all weirdos. Don't worry about it. Well, that's true. <laughs> okay, let's let's find a part. And yeah. Um I definitely miss a lot of the idle stuff. Maybe I will catch up one day. And as you can see there's like nine chapters. I decided to uh, split this into nine, uh, into three parts, so they will be shorter, I guess. Not a big deal. Um, yeah, definitely. Thank you for watching, listening. I uh, wish you a good day, night, afternoon, and see you in the next part.